Hello everyone, it's Cindy from Studio Lou, still here on beautiful vacation. <laughs> it is a chillier day today though, so I um, had a busy day, but I threw some bundles in the pot tonight and I thought maybe I would show them to you. So let me just get the camera kind of situated here. Hold on. Okay. Easier said than done when you're by yourself. <laughs> okay, hold on. Mm, I think I'll prop you up here. As so. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is a pink cotton apron that I got a while ago at a thrift store and I really wanted to print it for my own kind of eco printing apron. Um, let me just turn you again because I'm sort of situated here like this. Okay. And um, I just printed it with some sumac and um, everything I did tonight was a little experimental. So these might not be the most incredible results, but we'll see. I think sharing um, a part of the process when things go well or not well is good um, because otherwise you just assume that we're all, you know, perfect here on YouTube and everything we do is magic when that's totally not the case, <laughs> right? So yeah, let me just unwind, unwind, unwind. Some of these have like a metric ton of um, yarn wrapped around them here. But we're almost there with this one. Just got one knot to un unfurl here. I try to tie bows rather than knots so I don't end up with like these ripped, but every now and then I rip them anyways. Okay, we're all unbundled now. Let's get the bundle out of the way, the all the yarn. I'll show you the sunset for a moment. Like you have to see this. Hopefully you can see the pink under the purple. It's just it's beautiful. These are the mountains here. Okay. Okay, let's get back to it. And I'm just going to unroll here. Oh, this did exactly what I'd hoped, I think. So Sumac is going to give me basically quite a black, um, quite a black tone because of the mordant I've used. So let's open this up. It was a little hard to um, print this one because it's a wraparound apron. Okay, plants are here on the inside. So let me get the sumac off. And then I'll show you this. I'll um, take some pictures online maybe let me see if I can back you up just a titch here. Can I zoom out a little? Okay, so, okay. I think you can kind of see now, right? Let me pull these off. Hopefully you're seeing this. I think you are. There we go. Then, let's pull the rest off here. This isn't going to be as neat and tidy as my last eco printing video because, um, it's just, it's a difficult piece to do, to uh, show you this way. Okay, so I'll just get the last couple leaves off and I'll kind of give you a bit of a look at the fabric. Oh, yay, it really did turn out quite pretty. So here, can you see the leaf prints? They printed really nicely. Okay, and the moon side printed black. But look at the the sun side we got sort of um it's really hard to get true color on this on this pink i'll take some pictures it's brown with a black outline okay so let's set that one aside all of these head off to the washing machine after i'm done okay so these ones are definitely going to be very very experimental so um these are thrifted napkins and I wasn't sure about using them for printing because they are actually only 30% cotton. They have um, sparkle in them and they're like a Calvin Klein napkin. Um, ooh la la, right? And 
I just thought they'd be really neat if they would print if they don't print but obviously I will repurpose the fabric in a different way but it's fun to try so let's just see what happened so I used tulip tree leaves again on this because I really liked how they looked on the fabric oh and it printed yes life is good okay I really liked how they printed so I thought I would try again. Now, admittedly, the moon side is the better side on this. The sun side's quite subtle, it's a subtle yellow. Um, so one trick that I can tell you is, if you want a consistent um, darker print, like you see how these are darker and these are lighter, what you can do is lay your leaves back to back so that on each piece of fabric that makes contact with the leaf, you've got the moon side touching. And remember the moon side is the side of the leaf that doesn't look up at the sun. So you'd put down one leaf, moon side touching this. Then on top of it, you would put another leaf with the moon side pointing up so that it would touch the other side of the fabric when you fold it over. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, it's really pretty. Okay, so let's look at the other napkin. I think uh, yeah this is the other one same kind of fabric uh, it's just another napkin just the same um, this one though I printed it with sumac because sumac is kind of my my regional go-to for um, definitely knowing that I'm gonna get tannin like in places like Australia they really depend on the eucalyptus for that same consistency I can get that in Ontario um, most of Canada actually um, grows sumac so sorry if it's a little noisy there is a little bit of traffic going by right now it's the time of day when people are coming home from work so there's a few cars on the road oh yeah this really printed so what I did I'll show you before I unravel it you can actually see that's a whole entire sprig of sumac uh, that's all i did i used one and i got that print so sometimes less is more right so we open it up and sumac of course gives you beauty on both the sun and the moon side always so here we go um here are both sides right here sun side is the dark one moon side is the light one so yeah they're really beautiful and I know it's a little dark because um, I'm filming at sunset here, but I just wanted to show you these. I didn't want to wait until morning to unwrap them because I would be like, you know, it would feel like Christmas Eve for way too long for me. If you can hear some squealing, that would be my son. He just had his bath and he's squealing away um, at me through the window. I think we're probably going to watch some Spongebob tonight and you know do kids stuff it was a colder day today but my daughter was just bound and bent on wanting to swim so I let her go and <laughs> she got kind of up to her waist and then decided that maybe maybe mom knew what she was talking about and headed back in but I will let her try why not <laughs> You're only a kid once, right? Okay, so this is um, a large piece of cotton from an old scarf that I had. Um, and I decided I would eco print it. And what did I use on this one? I'm gonna check. I think this might have been my experimental print, something I've never printed before. Let me see. No, I lied. Sorry. This is birch. Um, silver birch. Little tiny leaves of silver birch. So there you can see it with the leaves. And what I did was I took them off in, um, and this is, is this the scarf? Or is this just, no, I'm sorry. This isn't the scarf. This is just cotton that I've mordanted. Um, I'm thinking of the next one probably. So I just took them and I laid them on in sprigs. And some of them are moon side up. Some are sun side up. Um, I might just turn on the light. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Maybe it puts a kind of a bright light behind my head, but that's okay. Um, I want to just be able to show this to you if I can. Let's just quickly pull these leaves off. I won't do it as like 
slowly as I did last time. But what you're gonna see is that in clusters this way, you get a bit of moon side, a bit of sun side. So you get like some really nice um, variants in how the leaves are gonna look. And again, I've only done half of the fabric and I fold it in half for that like mirror image. And again, you'll see that this is like a less is more technique. So let's grab the last few here. Okay. Here we go. So check this out. Really cool. I really like this particular section, but the whole thing is amazing. So yeah, that one turned out good. All right, this one. Yeah, this is the last one, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one that I told you was experimental and wow, does it ever look like it's experimental. Okay, so this was an old scarf that was part of um, like a large piece of cotton that I cut into sections some time ago. It was originally like a painted cloth that had painted sections on it and then around the edges it didn't have any paint. Um, so, that is what I ended up using here. It's got some serging with black thread on one side. Um, and I had made it into like a, the, like a scarf basically. So let's just untangle it. Now, this is my experimental print. This plant I've never used before. Um, it is red dogwood. Um, so yeah, I had no clue if it had tannin, but like looking at it, I sort of felt like it had tannin, I don't know. You can't really tell just by looking, but I feel like sometimes in my heart that I know there's tannin in there, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there's all the yarn. Let's get that off. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, yeah, so this definitely contains tannin. Oh wow, does it ever. I think it's a little bit, um, probably overloaded this fabric. I don't know. We'll see. Because what I had to do, it was a long piece of fabric. But yeah, this prints black on the moon side. Holy moly. It's just like sumac. I'm really getting um, a lot more resources on this trip for consistent black monochromatic plants. So that's a good thing because that's how we build our education here. So here's the leaves. Just trying to get the bar in the middle. So what I did with this one is I just kind of folded the scarf in half. I put the leaves on one side and then I rolled the whole thing up. So let's get the rest of these off. And they smell really nice, oddly. Dogwoods are not known to smell nice quite the opposite. Okay, a few more to go. I'm gonna have to experiment with the leftovers here and do some much less convoluted printing because um, I think this is gonna be a really amazing winner of a plant. Let's open this up. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, I'm not even mad. This is like gorgeous. Okay. Hold on, let me do it like a drive-by. Okay, oh, there's like reds in this. I can't, can you see the red there? Okay, and then here's some outlines. Here's a really beautiful, look at how defined the, the leaf print is. Oh, this is a real surprise. Amazing, red dogwood. Amazing. Okay, so I will post some pictures of these on Instagram once they've been washed and dried because um, you'll get a better idea. But I just wanted to say hello and, um, you know, take you on another little adventure with me for today. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I am having the best of times. So we'll talk again very soon. Bye for now.